Don't move one. Giant orange one. Ugh, I can't get a clean shot. Now that one was like two feet long. Super smart, super elusive, super deadly. What's up everybody, it's Real Cool Adventures. Today, Laura and I are after the red-headed agama. They're highly invasive. They're coming in here. They're eating all the little finch, all the little birds, all the native wildlife. And we're after them with these PCP air guns. Let's get to it. What I'm trying to do is walk around on this ridge and kind of peek over the side, try to get a shot, but they're super elusive. They'll pop their head up, they'll wiggle around, they'll hide back in these rocks. So it's really hard to catch them alive. So that's why we're doing it this way. You get any? So Lauren took off ahead of us and she thinks she got a shot on a monitor lizard. Let's go see if we can find it. The problem is a lot of times the stuff we're shooting, they're falling down in these rocks and crevices. And I told her I don't really want her sticking her hands in there with all the moxins without me. So let's see if we can find it in there. <gasps> there he is. Probably just saved a little finch's life. These things love to eat eggs too. You'll notice around here, you don't see any little bird nests because these little devils have eaten them all. What we're gonna do later too, is we're gonna go home. We're gonna take a bunch of these home and dissect them and see what's in their stomach. And if you wanna see that, go on Real Cool Adventures Instagram. We'll show it on there. We're not gonna show it on YouTube. Let's go find some more. It's go time. Where over there? Oh, I saw that. You get a shot, pick a shot. I think I hit him right in the neck. Nice! Oh my gosh, there's a monster. Look at that monster. Here, here give me a pellet, Lauren. Ah, frickers. He's on the very top of the rocks, teasing me. Flirting with me, literally throwing his tail up in the air. Waving around like he just don't care. Say hello to my little friend. Say good night. That's right. Not ideal conditions, it's a little windy. Everything's shaking, it's hard to, to focus on them. But they're everywhere. A thousand total. Yeah, good shot. That was a really good shot. It's gonna leave you out here, but now you can come home with me. There goes another one. So today we're trying out this new Tacticam. Tell us what you think in the description down below if you like this angle and we'll do a little more of it. So far it's been great, it's nice and light, doesn't restrict you at all and gives you a nice clean line of sight, real easy to use. So let's keep doing it. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a jump. He's teasing me. Oh, oh stick your face out little buddy. Don't move Cam. Oh my gosh. Barely had a shot, but I took it because I couldn't help it. Oh, don't move, don't move. Oh. Mm. Nobody's fault but mine on that one. And of course I don't have a bullet. And this thing is literally out there going like this with his neck. Looks like a disco ball. They're not a disco ball, one of those flashing lights at the massage parlor. I'm gonna give you a neck massage you're never gonna forget. Every time I load it, it's like he knows. He peeks back behind that little rock. Come on, you little cricket creeper. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta really watch where you step, too. I know there's snakes in here. And just like the water moxins and the rattlesnakes, they love the rocks. They love to get in here and hide, get their body temperature just right, attack. They're opportunistic predators. They eat meat, eggs, everything. Small children, if they were small enough. I'm trying to take them out. One in a million, she's a phenomenon. New wonder of the world, she gives it all she's got. 
Another thing is, Lauren's back there, away from me. Whenever you're shooting on a rock, up against a rock or some type of hard projectile or hard surface, anything can ricochet. I don't care if it's a Red Rider BB gun, anything. So we'd make sure nobody's up here in our way, except for that blizzard right there. Got him. Gosh, this gun is awesome. Once again, I really want to thank my buddy Pablo for turning me on at Airgun One Incorporated to this because he talked me out of buying a gun that was more expensive and buying this gun. And it's super reliable, super accurate. I can't say enough about it. And I'm trying to talk to you guys. And every time I turn my head on like a 45 degree angle, a little lizard head pops up like this. Let's keep, let's keep doing it. Big one right there, he's creeping. Barely letting me see his head. Nice orange head. Real hard for me to get the shot in the wind, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Oh. In all honesty too, this is a, well, no fall. This is a Diana Storm Rider. It's probably the cheapest PCP gun on the market. Super accurate. And as you'll see in this footage, it, it performs really well. So you can get one of these for under $300 all set up. A lot of the other guns, you get up in the $1,000, $1,500, $2,500 range. And it's like a lizard attractor, because as I'm talking to you, they're jumping out, because they know the storm is coming. They're jumping around like little freaks. All right, they're just, as you're gonna see in the footage, they just keep popping up. They're really fast, really elusive. You get a, one little, oh, there's a finch. You get one little quick shot, and if you don't take it, they're gone. Nice shot. Now, if that took any longer, I would already had a baby. Oh. See that? Got him. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for upcoming events. And we had a great time with this Diana Storm Rider, and we're knocking him down. We'll see you on the next adventure. The